Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fable the Lost Chapters next episode. Double checking if screen is recording properly, okay. And as you can see, I was grinding. Bet 1000 money for 195,000. And yes, this is a short I took. Previous played bet 1000, which is maximum. How about and perhaps you'll come back and play some more? Plus 490,000. May I help or are you just looking around? This is the premier clothing store in town. Oh, we can do a lot. With this cash. But first, let's go back to Heroes Guild. Teleport. And so far, that's all I could do. Find the bandit, Sirius. Find the seers in the bandit camp who might tell, tell you about your sister, Teresa. Series. Money reward 4500, renown 1000. What kind of post I can give? What? Lookout point. Find the bandit, see. Get at least 24 bandits. Spare bandits. I can do this by sparing the bandits. Wager 400 gold, the reward 1200. Take the post. Why don't you get back where you belong? Come on! Get away from me! No way! Hmm. I don't know. There should be another glitch. Um, let me look for another glitch. Google a glitch. One. Infinite experience glitch. Best method. That's a fucking fourteen minutes. Infinity could be for first quest, what? Hello there, heroes. Valiant here, and today we'll be learning how to easily get infinite gold in Fable okay. chapters before even finishing the first quest. In the process, we'll also learn how to use the buy and sell glitch, which can be performed on basically any version of the game. So, for this example, Six I'm using a new character fresh out of the guild. As you can see, I haven't even taken the first quest yet. Now, let's head over to Bowerstone South. And what will he show? Because I'm a Watching uh, right now Infinite Gold before first quest. Once we're in town, head to the merchant near the gate named Derek. Here we'll begin this glitch. Start by selling all of your potions and resurrection files. Once you've done that, you should have just under a thousand gold. Now comes the fun part. Start off by purchasing all of Derek's green apples and apple pies, then sell them right back to him. Next, purchase all of his green apples, apple pies, and any other produce that he has more than 30 of in stock. Just repeat this process of purchasing and selling, and you'll notice your gold increasing. Why, though? Ah, because the prices are fucked. 
That's why. Do this until you've reached around 12,000 gold, and then make your way over to Oakvale. I got 450,000, okay. Now we can continue with Merchant Derek, but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves to 100,000 gold before the first quest instead. Just keep in mind that, in theory, you can get infinite gold before the first quest using this method. If you want to increase your possible profit, just try and stop at every wandering merchant you can trade with and buy emeralds, any emerald that they have. These will come in handy later. Now, once you've made it to Darkwood Camp, and then, assuming uh, you haven't spent any of your gold, go ahead and purchase all of Mungo's jets. Then, make your way over to Oakvale, or continue to Oakvale, should I say. Once again, you can stop at any of the merchants or wandering merchants along the way, and instead of just purchasing it's the trading this way, you can increase your profits by pretty much a huge amount. Once you've made it to Oakvale, the shops will probably be closed depending on how fast you got there. For me, I made it after the shops were closed, so just like me, head over to the tavern, sleep until morning. Once you're awake, head over to the item merchant and just buy and sell his perfumes, emeralds, and your jets. You should make around 50 gold per jet, 90 gold per emerald, and perfume is a bit of a variable, but it usually makes an excellent profit as well. As you can see here, our gold is climbing steadily, and we can basically just continue this to infinity. I'll stop here at 100,000 gold for this example, but you can see how this can be easily abused. Remember, this is an early game buying and selling strategy, and this glitch is much more effective when used in combination with high attractiveness, good alignment, and renown. What's the first thing you would buy with 100,000 gold in Fable? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, uh, it's just infinite gold using trading methods. I grinded the gold with the gambling. <laughs> Save street exploit. There are certain enemies and bosses during quests were simply killing them or doing plenty of damage against them. We will not finish the quest during this moment. You can simply say. Uh, you can simply save before the quest is finished and run out to constantly boost your EXP. Ah, so that's the EXP grind method. Guild experience glitches. Here, uh, fix. Take care of oh, whisper training. When you reach the hero skill, uh, it is for the player to get as much strength experience as they want. While they are this early in the game, when the guild master tells you to fight whisper during the mala test, fight her like you normally would to complete the first part. Where it teaches you how to attack her with your iron long sword as you would expect. This will play a cutscene where the Glimmer explains the block. Now that your objective is to block Whisper, just ignore what the Gizel Master said and keep attacking Whisper instead. You will gain free strength every time that you hit. This method is slow. Okay. Uh, instead of uh, that he tells the difference in the game, press unless you use the right discipline against him. Uh, keep attacking him and increase your EXP. So, let's switch to the Urban Sword. Skip training, which... Theory. Being this class from both the wheel and archery training, huh? This is your this training session, and the person that is supposed to play if commit enough bad deeds or already heroes get this to progress as part of the game because it's extremely useful for people to speed around the speed of the server over one minute of real time, okay. Spade. When you use the spade in your inventory to dip the ground, color backwards ever so slightly by repeating this action, 
you can actually cast the hero to clip through objects that you usually wouldn't be able to pass through. Since wall doors and even, even invisible barriers. Oh boy! I need to check it out because there are demon doors that I will have to go through. You obviously know that. I wonder if I can break the game by flipping through those doors. And basically it says to spam 8. I mean spam spade. Let me first save the game because I'm doing a major skip of the game. It forces me slightly backwards every time I mine, huh? So basically I just spam it. How much spamming of the eight that do I need? Can I speed the game up? I can. Hey, I'm getting closer. I do in fact get closer. I do, in fact, get closer. That's interesting. I need to do more and more and more. Oh boy, I'm really clipping through. I'm glad I saved though. Uh. Or am I flipping or not? I don't know at this point. I don't know at this point if I'm clipping or not. How much digging do I need to do? Get the animation so it forces me backwards. Does it really force me backwards though?
I don't know how much digging do I need to do, but uh, well, spade glitch, I will read to you. There is an oversight with using the spade item in this version of the game. Whenever you use the spade in your inventory to dig the ground, it will actually force the player backwards ever so slightly. By repeating this action, you can actually cause the hero to clip through objects that you usually wouldn't be able to pass through. This includes things like fences, walls, doors, and even invisible barriers. This glitch appears to be tied to how the game handles the digging animation for the hero of Oakvale when they are using the spade. Some animations like punching for example, are known as combat animations in the game files. Despite its name, this can actually mean any type of animation where the player isn't the force, isn't forced to stay in the same spot. The ticking animation in this version of Fable seems to also follow this logic, but because the movement is so small, it seems that developers didn't realize this issue would happen before the game was actually released. The glitch itself is down to the way the speed is programmed in the game, most likely due to the hero's animation upon using it, so there is no fix for the glitch, however if you find yourself stuck in an, uh, in an area using this glitch, then all you have to do is use your guild seal to teleport the hero to another region. This glitch was... What? Why does it say that in this version where I googled Pable the Lost Chapters that it works in this version and this glitch was fixed in Pable the Lost Chapters? What? Ah, uh, that's so cringe. I wasted a lot of time for the wrong version of the game. <sighs> oh, whatever. Can I interest you in something? Make a boost. Boost tutorial, okay. There is another glitch, however, with the spade. There are five villagers, okay. How many will it spawn? My liege. Only great eminence of kingdom ships. My fire. Shh, he's gonna start boasting any second now. No, I'm trying to spawn more of you. I wonder if I can really spawn more villagers this way. So far there were five villagers. One, two, three, four. Nah, I can. I'm looking for someone to take me to Orchard Farm. I'll pay you if you help me. It can be dangerous. Here's the deal, see? You get a quarter of just talk to me again if you just... Oh. oh, you'll take me to or use your when we get if you want me to. Oh, Orchard Farm again. <laughs> My liege. Next time you'll insult me. I'll uh, screw you up. How does this spawn villagers? I know I could use the shovel there. But how the heck does it spawn villagers? I haven't seen this. Slow down. I can't keep up. 
Slow down, I can't keep up. Ah, yes, we're right on track. I'm just bowing everyone. I'll not spare you. I wonder if he will really pay me anything. Whoa. I need to go and take the villager bulk. Day for it. it doesn't work, huh? I'm sad that the no clip glitch doesn't hero. work anymore. <laughs> I was so hopeful. Outside of camera I will try it again. Not a scratch on me. Ah, so that's why you didn't pay me anything. Well, you've earned this gold. Oh, and here's a bonus for the hard work. A rupee. You're now renowned enough to use the scary laugh expression. You deserve you have this reached a familiar status. Anyways, uh, G. And let's go and teleport somewhere else. Okay, and continue. Teleport. I wonder if you can go and grind the gold. Ah, uh, it's not by the consequences. Oh, that's a nice Okay. I guess I need to do something to... Oh, the tower is activated. Well, okay, Fisher. Ready to help? Boy. Items. Green apple, five. Apple pie, twenty. Produce apple pies twelve. Best prices. Well, okay, anyways, I guess we got a little to sleep for now. Okay, there is another trader. Open now. Here. I'm pleased to serve you. Buy 802 items. Produce. Green apple. So cheap. Apple pie. So cheap. Fish. So cheap. Carrot. So cheap. Red meat, so cheap. 
items produce apple pie 114 Items produce. Hey, I get it now. I buy them for one gold and sell them for three gold. <laughs> Let's buy other items as well. So far, this works. Items produce cedar gray green apples get a lot of profit, huh? Profit, apple pie profit, carrot profit, red meat profit, and finana profit as well. Green sack profit items gifts perfume okay rose wedding ring perfume by maximum buy one emerald buy one items gifts Wedding ring is at a loss. Jet is price. Profit 76 from perfumes, nice. Loss on emerald. Profit on ruby, profit on jet. Ah, I already got a lot of gold. Buy max, buy max, buy max gifts. Buy all the perfumes. I forgot that this is a loss. Ruby is 670, okay. Jet is lost, Emerald is lost. So, items, gifts, perfumes, produce, and green apple. Apple pie as well. Fish, carrot, red meat. Tofu and green sacks are useless. Profit 34, profit 43, profit 254. Post for 74 for sale. It's a loss, okay, never mind. We got to sell those now. Gifts. Sell all. Produce. Sell all. Sell all. Sell all. And sell all. And buy again. Hmm, I guess I'll get the cheap emeralds, maybe. Produce... Uh, and buy.
Okay, I think I got it. Uh, produce grapple, apple pie, fish, carrot, and red meat. Items, gifts, produce, buy max, buy max, buy max, buy max, and buy max. Sell items, uh, gifts, perfume, all, produce, sell all, sell all, sell all, sell all, and sell all. Now produce, cheap buy, price sale, huh? Red Rose, Wedding, Rube, and Chad. Plus 26,000. I wonder what I can do if I will sell to the Fisher. Ready to help? Buy, Oceans, Gifts, Produce. Sell items, produce only two profit, okay. Not worth. Gifts impossible to sell. I don't think it is worth it to sell anything to him. Best prices but so far the seller meal is a very good to grind the cash. Let's go to power stone. Because I'm actually curious for more cash. So far I grinded 1000 before going this method within this episode. Innkeeper? What do you buy, sir? 24 gift. Produced. Everything is fucking overpriced. Items, produce, mm. who are you? Are swordsman. Swordsman. Some scallywags trade between the shops to earn themselves gold. Let me guess, looking for items of combat, I'm pleased to serve you. Sir, weapons, melee weapons, steel axe, damage 38, useless. Damage 30 useless ranged. I got two ponies, okay. Never mind, I won't sell everything. Ewen, Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me, my poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these, these strange mushrooms. mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? <laughs> okay. Whatever that means. Chicken chasing. That gets you a true Hmm, there should be another trader around here. Many greetings. Oh, hey Lord. I'm pleased to say I can buy armors here. Head, chainmail, helmet, 
Strong protective headwear. Dress gloves. Plate gauntlets. Chain mail. Torso. Plate chest piece. Legs, late leggings. Yesterday, I saw twin minus twenty K inventory, uh, clothing, chain mail, hands, plate gauntlets, torso. Plate chest piece, the legs, plate leggings, and head chain mail. And now I look like a warrior. <laughs> Produce. Oh, I can buy more of this stuff from this dude. Niche. Red me. Green sack. Cedar crate. Floor sack. Gifts. I think more perfumes. Items uh, produce. 339 per trade. Times 2, 3. Buy for one, sell for four. Cedar crate. Well, I can profit of selling the cedar crate to him. Gifts. Options. Let's get the potions for myself meanwhile and start selling those uh, produce cedar crate grapples apple pies fish not worth carrot and red meat weapons Produce Basically I'm selling and replying to a trader all the time So that will be it for today's episode Thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye